Hey everybody, today I've got this Vidmar lock. I believe it is made by Stanley. And it is made in Switzerland. And it is a slider lock. This is the first slider lock that I've ever had, so I'm really excited for it. From what I can tell, if you orient it this way, all the sliders line up right in the middle. And it's actually kind of hard to get the key in. you got to wiggle it up and down. And it doesn't go in real well. So I think they're meant to be mounted this way. And all the sliders line up at the top. Which I guess would be the bottom. Then the key goes in really nice and smooth. And seems to work pretty well. So I think we're going to put it up this way. It's going to make tensioning a little more awkward but I think we'll be okay. Now, I don't know if I can adjust my lighting a little bit better. You might be able to see some of the sliders in there. You might not. I don't know. So I've got one of these um, thicker Z-wrenches that I got in this uh, Huck set of a bunch of different little wrenches, and I found that this one is kind of the best size for this. But the problem is gravity it wants to fall down here, so you got to try and get it to just stay up there, then get your tension on, and then it works pretty well. Make sure. Yep. Okay, we're turning to the right. And I'm using this uh, Primus pick that was made for me by Super Llama. And we're just going under. Make sure the camera focuses in the right area here. And trying to lift these little sliders. Just looking for binders. Uh, so I don't know much about sliders yet. These are entirely new to me. This is the first one I've ever picked, but from what I can tell just by sticking a pick in and trying for a while is the principle's the same. You kinda get a binder and you just lift it until it quits binding. And a lot of times you get little clicks out of them. And that's kind of a good indicator that, hey, that's lifted high enough. And then you just move on and keep going around. Try different sides. Keep lifting. That must be sticking out the back there.
I don't know what it wants. Feel like anything is binding. Gotta be this left side. I must not be getting things quite right over here. It's a little easier when you don't have a camera in the way. And you can actually see if you're under the sliders or not. Otherwise you're just kind of doing the best you got by feel. There we go. Okay. So this is what happens. You get halfway and it seizes up again. And you have to re-pick again. And what I've noticed is the right side, whichever way you're turning, seems to stay. But the side over here, like the left, it's like gravity gets it or something. <laughs> and the sliders move while the core is turning and you gotta re-pick them. There we go. So there we got one. Get the full turn. There we go. I mean it's not it's really not that challenging. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder. Now all the sliders have realigned since it's it's not key retaining so the sliders are free to move once it's made that 90 degree turn. But from what I can tell, I can't gut this because it looks like it's got um, a pinned in core. So unless I drill out this pin, there's no way for me to get this core out. And it looks like the tailpiece right there is also pinned in on both sides. Even if I got that off though, that's not part of the core. This piece retracts in, but that doesn't have anything to do with the locking mechanism. I think that's part of um, what holds it in to the toolbox or whatever this goes on the cabinet. But I've tried depressing this. Nothing happens. So as far as I can tell, I'm almost positive that's what's holding the core in. And I really don't feel like ruining the lock and drilling that out because it's the only one I have. But that's what it is, the uh, Vidmar 10 slider. There's a good view of these sliders in there. So when they start, they start down like that. And then you just kind of lift them. That's kind of as high as they'll go right there. There's 10 of these in here. So not too bad, all in all. And the bidding on it looks rather tame. 
I was kind of hoping for something a little crazier. I mean, the most we've got is, it looks like three and then two are just sitting there. You don't have to lift them very much on the other side. Same, it looks like three that need to move and two that kind of stay where they are. But yeah, that's this uh, Vidmar, made in Switzerland. So, super cool lock. I'm really excited to add this to my collection. I've got uh, two more sliders on the way that I'm waiting to show up. One is a EVA 3KS that I'm super excited for, and the other is the uh, Yale Superior. So we'll see if we can get into those next. I think this was a good starter slider lock to learn how they work. So if anybody's looking for sliders and want to, something that seems like a little more starter, I think these Vidmars are a good way to to dive into the the slider world. So thanks for watching everybody. Make sure to subscribe and we'll get some more videos out to you soon.